This is a nomenclature quiz that I gave to my class. If you wish to do it, uh, you can copy the questions down. On one side of the quiz we have uh, given the names and you're asked to draw the structures for the following. 3-chloro, 2-4-pentane-dione, uh, 2-2-diiodo, 4-oxoheptanal, 3-amino, 5-heptanoic acid, cyclohexyl propanoate, and 4-4-dimethyl, 2-5-cyclohexadienone. On the other side of the quiz, you're asked to give names for the following structures. You may wish to pause the video at this point, and I'll be giving the answers. <coughs> three chloro. Uh, the longest chain for number one is one, two, three, four, five carbons long, so it's a pentane skeleton. It's got two ketones on it and the chlorine atom is at the third position, so we call it 3-chloro, 2,4-pentane dione. I've put a red arrow to show where uh, each um, mark is going to be attributed. For 2,2-diiodo, 4-oxoheptanol, we start the counting at this end. This is the second position. This is where the two iodine atoms are placed. Here's the carbonyl for the uh, ketone, That's and it gets the oxo designation at the fourth position and the chain is seven carbons long, so it's heptanal. It's named as an aldehyde. The aldehyde substituent is the highest priority on the molecule. <coughs> the third molecule uh, has an amino group at the third position. It's named as an alcohol, and there's a double bond in it at the fifth position, so we call it 3-amino, 5-heptanoic acid. And uh, the cyclohexyl propanoate, here's the cyclohexyl part. It's attached to the oxygen atom of the carbonyl, and the chain is one, two, three carbons long. 4,4-dimethyl-2,5-cyclohexadienone. Here's the ketone group, which is the first position, and then we number around clockwise. We actually can go counterclockwise and get the same name, but anyway, um, second position has a double bond, three, four, the fourth position has the two methyl groups, and the fifth position has the second double bond. In this one, we have an allele group. An allele group looks like a vinyl group, except it has an extra elbow. And the first position is where the ketone group is. These are ditertpental, so uh, tertbutyl has four carbons in it, looks like a cross. Tertpental looks like a cross, but has an extra elbow, so it's five carbons. Uh, cyclopentane ring. So we start numbering at the ketone, and we go around clockwise. Again, we can go counterclockwise if we wanted to, because it's symmetrical. And we get 3,4-diallele, 2,5-ditertpental, cyclopentanone. The own is to show that it's a ketone. This molecule has an aldehyde group, a cyclopropyl group, and an isopropyl group on a cyclohexane ring. So we'll call it, uh, we'll number it starting from the aldehyde position. When an aldehyde is placed on a ring, the molecule's name ends in carbaldehyde. So we say 5 cyclopropyl, 2 isopropyl, cyclohexane carbaldehyde. <coughs> this is an acyl halide with iodine attached to a carbonyl group. So the longest chain is one, two, three, four carbons long, so we call it butan oil iodide. This molecule is an amide. The longest chain is one, two, three, four, five carbons long. There are two cyclopropyl groups attached to the nitrogen, so we say NN to indicate that there are two things attached to the nitrogen, dicyclopropyl pentanamide. The last molecule is a nitrile, 
there are two nitrile moieties, so we say the longest we count the longest chain one, two, three, four, five, six, and we say one six hexane dinitrile.